Uh, do you know what though, I've got to say, I do kind of understand why you walk quick in this country, because it's, it's too, too cold bloody to. cold to walk slow. <laughs> UK and yes we're wearing sunglasses the sun's out yeah we've actually come to a place called Chesterfield which is in the north of the UK to come and see my sister and we're parked well just there <laughs> and it's really quite nice because we've got the sheepsies in the background we, we, we're hoping later today we'll be able to go and see the or go and see the farmer yeah and get to meet the sheepsies and feed fingers the crossed we'll do tea. that later so we're now in Castleton, Castleton, in the middle of the Peak District, and I actually didn't realise the Peak District was here or close to where my sister lives. Mm. And I've got to say, it's stunning. Mm. The one thing we noticed coming up through uh, France from back home in Spain is, it's going to sound horrible, but how boring the landscape was. Mm -hmm. It got flat and not many features and not much going on. Well, I take it all back when we've seen here. The drive here is stunning. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got Proper big hills. hills and mountains again. Yeah. Which, like I said, since we left home, since we left Spain, we've missed. The other thing we found here that's been great, that we've not had since we've been here, is a really pretty little village. Yeah. This place. This is gorgeous. This is stunning. To be fair, this Castleton place is not the only one. We came through a few other little villages as well. Yeah. And I think my sister, we are with my sister. We've not come in a motor. <laughs> my sister has brought us here, but my sister is, whereas me and Alison stroll along quietly and slowly, my sister it always walks around at 100 mile an hour and we've fallen behind and completely lost her. Oh, that sounds like water though. I can see a duck. <laughs> I can see lots of ducks. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's got quite a flow to it. lovely looking. Lovely. Look at this. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh no, I like this. Oh, look at the old bridge, darling. Down there. Oh, they've put Christmas lights on it. And an old bridge at the end. Oh, lovely look. At the little shop, 50p. Oh, you can buy some food to feed the ducks. This is where you get duck food, is it? Yeah. Okay, go on then. I like the, I like the, what do you call this? A stable door? Yeah, and then the books. It smells of books. Ooh. Oh, it smells of books. Yeah. There's no one here. So, there. Uh, Alison got some duck food and I've got to say the lady was absolutely lovely we didn't record in there and I don't know if I should be saying this on camera or not but we said we hadn't got anything but a, uh, I was gonna say a 20 euro 20 pound note so she gave us the duck food free of charge bless her look who we found that's my sister she is real she does exist but we've uh, got some stuff to feed the ducks what ducks Oh, you've actually got a customer. Christmas. You've got a customer. Oh. oh, see, the first girl came and now they're all. Now they all want in. Oh, Hi, kids. Oh, Mr. Aggressive. Because she came first. Yeah. Come on, keep pedaling. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I, was, I was telling the people why we couldn't find you because you're just an excessively quick walker. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't do anything at slow speed, do no, you? Everything's I don't, because I'm married to a soldier, so we have to march ah, everywhere. Ah, you have to march everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't think you, I don't think we've shown Matt yet on camera. We'll try and do that later, because he's going to walk us over to the farm to see some sheepses. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Everything's done at speed with Sarah. In fact, my father, she takes after Dad. Dad did everything at high speed, so... Talking about high speed, 
This river's flowing really quickly. Well, here's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today. Darling, we're about to go into the devil's arse. <laughs> Apparently this is the devil's arse. This is actually really pretty. I like Gorgeous. this. It's the big thing that struck us though, first off, is the, the railings. We're not used to quite so much back in Spain, health and safety. Don't do it. Stuff. In Spain, this wouldn't be here and you'd be able to climb down and go paddling in the water and, and go really exploring, whereas not quite so much here. No. Still doesn't take anything away from it though. It is stunning, absolutely <laughs> stunning. That's not reminded me. What's that? Um, that my sister watches our episodes, or one of my sister watches our episodes, and apparently she counts the amount of times that Darren says stunning and I say wow. So, hope you heard that one. Okay, challenge for the rest of this video. Don't say stunning. Don't say stunning, or, or don't wow. say wow. So apparently it's 20 euros to go in the devil's arse. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. 20 pounds per person to visit the devil's arse. It does say down here, that the temperature of the devil's ass is seven degrees. So it is actually warmer in the devil's ass than it is outside at the moment. Yes, because it is bloody freezing. Yes, it's very cold outside. Yeah. So although it's not as warm as I would have expected it to be in the devil's ass, it's still. But the question is, is an extra couple of degrees worth 20 pounds? No. No because Alison wants to spend the money on hot chocolate. And ice cream. <laughs> what doing? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about getting an ice, uh, not an ice cream, uh, hot chocolate. Ice cream maybe later, because, you know, hands are a bit icy. Sarah, uh -huh. we, we, we bought Tiffin. Oh, good. Lovely. Is that a local thing? Yeah. It is local, because he, he didn't seem very sure, bless him. He just did a, well, I make it. I don't know where it comes from. Yeah, they have it a lot round here, that and millionaires. But it's a British thing, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah? Okay. I can Google it for you. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's great having Sarah, because it means I don't have to Google yeah. things anymore. It's, it's, we, we, obviously, we know a lot about, we don't know a lot about Spanish food, do we? We no. quite often get that wrong. Yes. So I don't know Frequently. what I'm talking about, but it's nice to have a semi-local, no a, a semi-local in the shape of my sister to tell us that Tiffin could be local. Do I sound local? <laughs> Come on, then. Let's try this. Uh... Oh, you're right. It does taste like a flapjack with icing on top. With biscuit bits oh, in. Oh, by the way, <laughs> my sister's done some research and narrowed it down to... It's British. It's... So we've narrowed it down we to a country. <laughs> we know it's not a global thing. Right. This will be our first steep sli slidey climb in England. In the cold, when the ground's frosty and icy. Yeah. And this is the castle we're going up to. And there are, uh, the, the sister's coming with us as well, but in usual, I've already explained it, sister style, she's, she's long gone. You're not waiting for us. This has got to be one of the steepest ones we've climbed. <laughs> Don't let me talk. We've not done this for so long and it's, uh, yeah, this is steep. This is really steep. But yeah, at least they've done it view. as a proper zigzaggy path and we're not having to climb rocks. Yeah, the view is spectacular. We made it. Oh, yeah, just. It's actually, it's really cool. It does. Yeah. Look at the keep. It's it's not worn as well as Norwich, has it? No, that's that's not looking so healthy. Although compared to things like a door castle from one of our early videos, yes, there's a lot more here because a door castle is pretty much like that. <laughs> Come on, then. Ready? 
Uh, <laughs> My legs are too short. The view looks quite cool, and I think I see, yeah, there's some kind of hike down there. Walking path, that is lovely. Look at the cave. I know you get to that. Oh, look at the river coming down. Can you see the cave? What, over here? Yeah. Look how green it is, though. That's the thing that gets me. It'll be all that rain they have, darling. Yeah. We're in England. <laughs> Hole. It's the privy. Is the first British church door open or? Oh, she's opened it. And, okay. Do you know the first thing that strikes me walking in here? Just how plain it is. Having had the really excessive over the top glass windows, uh, stained glass windows of France, yeah. and then the massive over the top decoration of Spanish churches. Yeah, this is quite humble. Right, so that's uh, the village pretty much done. It's really lovely. It's not a big village, but it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. <laughs> you said stunning. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, failed. Never mind. It's, it's, I'm sure you'll say it again before the it's end. It's very attractive. It is. It's a very picturesque yeah. little village. I don't know what the plan is because my sister's gone off at 100 mile an hour again. So I think we're supposed to be going back and potentially this evening going to a farm. And yes. going to pet some sheep. Yes. Possibly. We're going to feed the girls their tea. If we, yeah. That's why we've got to go make sure we're back so, in time. Either we will see you in a little while for feed sheeping sheep feeding or in the morning oh, bobby yes dad it's cold <laughs> it's, it's very cold. cold it is cold. It's been a bit of a cold i was going to say it's been a bit of a culture shock for us but it's been two culture shocks coming to the uk one's the temperature because it's like zero degrees today but the other thing is when we came into the uk the biggest thing we struggled with is finding services an LPG. An LPG. And like somewhere to put your, your grey waste and, and clean the toilet and stuff like that. Yeah. It's been really difficult to find anywhere. I think we've kind of got really spoiled living in Spain and touring around Spain and into France. By the way, last night we did go over and we actually saw and fed the sheep at the local farm. Yeah. Didn't record a great deal because the light was a bit strange and... And the girls the, were a bit worried, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they weren't keen on the camera. I mean, this is a GoPro, it's tiny, but they weren't happy about it at all, were they? Oh. Every time I went near them with the camera to try and get a nice close-up of them, they were like, oh, I don't put that, and, and run off. So yeah. we're going to shoot, go back into my sister's house in a sec, because... Uh, After I've hung the laundry. She's cooked a... Uh, for those of you who are not from the UK, a very traditional British stew and dumplings. Stew and, and dumplings. So we're going to go and... Do love a stew and dumpling. Have a, is it a Sunday? Uh, yeah, it a is Sunday. A lovely Sunday roast. Well, not Sunday roast. It's not a roast. It's a roast Sunday... <laughs> Sunday stew. That's the word I was looking Sunday for. Sunday stew. Sunday stew. Apparently dinner's going to take a couple of hours. So to entertain ourselves we're taking all the doggies for a week my sister lives up that we'll way walk, not and we. where, where are we going which is just here okay but you have to go the long way round to get to the canal so we're going down a 
an old canal. Don't use it. Don't use? I don't know if they use it anymore as an actual canal. Stop. But. Just stop him. <laughs> poop time. Oh, by the way, we mentioned yesterday my sister walks at speed. Well, the husband, Matt's no different. He's got very long legs. He doesn't walk quite as fast, but he's got yeah. very long legs. We're seven to stump along <laughs> just to keep up with him. <laughs> All right. Ready? Let's go and get him. Well, we, we've caught him up uh, uh, eventually. Mm -hmm. oh. Apologies for the heavy breathing again. Uh, do you know what, though? I've got to say, I do kind of understand why you walk quick in this country, because... It's, it's too, too cold bloody to. cold to walk slow. <laughs> By the way, I haven't properly introduced this man yet. This is my brother-in-law. This is Hello. Matt or Matthew. But we're supposed to be going, like I said, down, down to this canal, but we seem to have ended up at the, the Mercedes-Benz garage. You're not buying yourself a new car again, are you? <laughs> is that what's really going on today? We've actually finally got here, and this is Tapton Lock. A locks, locks across most of Europe, aren't they? But if anyone's not aware so. of what a lock is, so they bring the boat in, then the water in here drops down to the same level as this, and then it carries on. But apparently this whole water system, what was he saying? I did ask Matt to do this, the camera, but it this is- This is the Chesterfield they, Canal. They've sprinted, can you see, they've sprinted off again. <laughs> He said, this is a Chesterfield Canal. Yeah. And the other side of here is the River Rother. Yeah. So that's I'll show you the River, River. 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 River Rother. See, so that's several times. Yeah, with with the cold rother, lips with the rother. Yeah. <laughs> when you've had a drink. Um, and as in Rotherham. So yeah. it obviously goes through Rotherham, where Rotherham okay. got its name from. And then further along, I think in that direction, the Chesterfield Canal and the River Rother connect. Connect. And how long was it? Don't know. We best get walking actually because they, they've gone. Yeah, we're getting again. well left behind. By the way, this is the the ri River Rother. Look <laughs> at the teeth back in. <laughs> Rith River R Rother. Yeah. muddy here. Yeah. <laughs> Britain, you're very muddy. It's I mean, muddy look. and soggy and yeah. The, the, the beauty of living in a, a very dry, arid country is there's no mud. The dust, you get, you get lots of dust. dust, but not mud. Not mud. Oh, look at the two ducks trying to keep their toes warm. <laughs> yeah, bless them, in the middle there. We've got to the end of the, the, the dirty walk because that was a lot of mud. But we've come on up here and hopefully you guys can see this spire thing, which apparently is a world famous crooked, crooked spire. Crooked spire. With that said, are we going home now for lunch? <laughs> Will it be ready? Uh, an hour, yeah, so I'll I, I, back and be ready. We, we've spoke up about this, Stu. This is, this is, this is well... World renowned. <laughs> it's, it's nearly as famous as the Spire. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and eat this world famous stew. Not crooked stew. Crooked stew. Yes, it's crooked <laughs> stew. Right, we've uh, got back to the motorhome, put the dogs away, and we've already been beckoned by uh, by Matt and my sister oh. to come and have food. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Where's food? Um, oh, is rude. Food? In the pot. Oh, look at that. Now, the, for those people that are not aware, these are dumplings. Yes. And what are they made of? Suet. Suet. Whatever suet is. But. Oh. 
Good morning. Um, we're still at my sister's. It's gone even colder, but we're going to have a absolutely massive change of plan. The plan was to hang around here today, possibly go off and do something else, but the weather forecast here has changed. And there are warnings out now that we're about to get hit, or this region of the UK is about to get hit with potentially a huge amount of snow. And seeing as we've got to get back to Norfolk in the next couple of days, we've decided to kind of hit the road early. And I think Alison, hi boys. What about Alison? <laughs> I was gonna say, I think Alison's getting herself sorted, but you're sat on the floor. Doing my boots up. Doing my boots up. This, this shows you just how cold it is. Oh, it's way colder than this. It's way colder. I mean, I, With your, I your practically, new hat. no, I didn't sprint, uh, but I, I power walked round the block with these two oh. and I was still cold and... Yeah, you're freezing. Out. No. It's right. Hard. We have everything sorted. Yes. I have everything, including my wallet. Yes. So, plan now. Although yes. we've only, in theory, only just got here, or it feels like we've only just got here, we're back off again. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be quite interesting because this is going to be our first time at a proper UK campsite. Yeah. Yeah. morning if i look like shit it's because i've literally dashed out of bed we woke up had some day blinds been, oh bobby look at the sunrise yeah it's kind of gone up behind the clouds now but that was absolutely spectacular but i tell you what we've come to a campsite called the hollies just south of Lowestoft. that's the campsite over there we'll go and have a quick look around in a second and it's right by the beach. It's a bit of a steep thing down to the beach. You've got to go down these stairs, which is interesting. But the beach looks very cold, wet, and yeah, it's freezing this morning again. I mean, we've been hit by what kind of zero minus temperatures through the night for the last few nights. Really not used to it. Really struggling with it. But now, gonna head back to this campsite because, um, yeah, a bit of a find. It's just south of Lowestoft. And um, we were shocked, 17 pounds a night, which is a bit more like what we've been used to paying back in Europe with electric, with water, waste, toilet, shower facilities, everything we could think of. Really pleasantly surprised by it. I'm also considering being blunt how blooming expensive everything has been here in the UK. Right, let's get back to the motorhome and let's see if uh, Alison's actually awake. Good morning. Hi. You're awake. Well. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the sunrise was spectacular. Yeah. Beach was a bit of a shock. It's not flat onto the beach. It's down a lot of stairs off the edge of a cliff. Oh. However, I was telling the, the peoples, this is actually a really good campsite. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I said already, the price is 17 euros. We've got all the services. We've not checked out the showers yet which we will do shortly. Obviously I dashed out of bed, blah, blah, and you're not even out of bed yet. And there's a laundrette, there's water taps everywhere, we've connected to electric. There's a lot of people here as well. And for 17 pound a night, 
And I believe if you stay longer, I think some longer term people here, and they seem to be paying about a third of that price per night. Really good. That price includes two dogs at two pounds each. Yeah, I, don't, I think what it is, I don't think they charge us for the dogs. Oh, did they not? No. Oh, okay. And I imagine in the summer it might be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But it's a lot less than the 40, 50 euros we have been seeing for places like this. Oh, God, yeah. But anyway, plan today is we are going to get sorted. We're going to go and see some friends locally. We went out for a meal last night with some friends, Carl and Louise. Thank you very much for taking us out. And seeing some friends today... And then hopefully this afternoon we'll get a chance to particularly show all our non-English viewers exactly what an English holiday resort by the seaside looks like. Well, we've made it to... Great Yarmouth. Great Yarmouth. Now, for our viewers that are not from the UK, Great Yarmouth is kind of the big holiday resort on the Norfolk coast and this really does sum up for me what a British holiday resort is like. Yeah. Think Las Vegas but smaller by the sea. So that was a quick foyer into the wonderful Penny Arcades. <laughs> and after spending all those millions of pounds in that arcade, what did you get? Uh, some I bits of cardboard. To make prizes. Some cardboard. Some cardboard. You won some cardboard. I won some cardboard. She won some cardboard. Well, we didn't, to be fair, we didn't actually see whether it was worth anything. Yeah, but didn't you read somewhere that you need 50 of those to no, get one game? No, 50 tokens, but that doesn't say it's a token. There were others that said one token. So you certainly want to go back in just, and see if Just you, double check. See if you can get a prize. In short, no then. <laughs> no, so, I needed five of those to get anything. So five packs of those tokens, no, tickets to get one token, and one token didn't get you anything. Anything You'd have been worth having. So then Alison tried giving it to a young child, didn't speak any English. With his dad, his dad, With his dad was there, in there. wasn't just accosting a child. I think his dad actually thought you were trying to buy his child or something, <laughs> the way he was behaving. <laughs> he actually stood around and kind of protected his child from us. Like, <laughs> yeah. This one's got its lights on, although I don't know how well that's coming out on there. It's pretty. Yeah. I mean, at night, in the summer, I imagine they're when all, all of this on. is open and they're all on, it'll look absolutely stunning, but... Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, fair, Britain is not warm enough in I the winter. I actually prefer the buildings above and behind. It's very Because that's isn't really it? lovely. And look yeah. at those. And is that Britannia? Possibly. Well, we're near Britannia Pier, aren't we? Yeah. And then you've got the, the tower there. It doesn't look like you can actually get into it anymore, but... Did you used to be able to get into that? Yeah, you used to be able to go up to the platform at the top, which was um, a good an observation station. platform. Like you said, most of this town this time of year, because Britain is very, very cold, is shut. And there's a prime example of how cold it is. Look, look at it, that's the lake. It's frozen over. It's frozen side. It's frozen side. What do you want this time? Donuts. Donuts. Why do you want specifically donuts? Because I always used to get donuts when I came to Yarmouth. If I used to come down in the in the summer for an evening, uh, not very often, to be fair. But I think we might I mention. I'm not sure that you are Alison. Is born and bred. You are Alison. <laughs> you are Alison. Yeah. I am Alison. Yes. Alison is born and bred Norfolk. So she. This is local for Alison, where she was brought up. I am. I'm a Norfolk. I, for Dumplin. my sins, was born and bred in Luton, which is why I don't speak proper like. Translated for everybody else, Luton. It's open. Wow. Okay. And sorry yeah. about the wind, by the way. For some reason, at this far end of uh, Great Yarmouth, it's. Uh, very, very windy, but this, this is the famous massive old school wooden roller coaster. Mm. And it spans the whole way around this place. 
Oh, look, is this, is this part of it just here? Yeah, yeah. that's where it comes down to the station. I'll uh, put the camera up and over so you guys can see. That's the old wooden roller coaster there. You can't run out at the moment. Why? Because oh. there's a big gap in the line. There's a, the, the, yeah, there's a, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, I did not realise this. What's that, darling? So this thing actually runs just on a bit of two by four. Yeah. With metal plate on top. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's wooden. Wooden roller coaster. No, the, always... the trick is in the name. <laughs> yeah, but I can't even imagine it would be on metal. No. Metal runners. Not it was built in the Victorian runners. times. So this is the Wellington Pier. A lot of places don't have a pier. Some places have one pier. Yarmouth had two. Yeah, you were right. Alison said there was two here, but we couldn't, couldn't find the other one. I couldn't remember what it was called it is, either. I mean, that down there, the big blue thing down there is the roller coaster we've just been to see. But this one does seem to be, well, open. <laughs> You're all right. So, okay. And straight into another arcade thing. Yeah, but hopefully we should be able to get out the through other to end. the other side. Success on this one then, because yeah. we we'll come out the other side of that arcade on the actual wooden planks of the the pier. Yeah, and we should Can be we able to round? go around the outside. You're starting to get a little bit of the sand dunes here, but at the North Beach, it's all sand dunes, and it's really lovely for dog walks. Takeaway available. I wonder if they have donuts. You reckon the takeaway <laughs> might have donuts? For no, because yeah, we a joke. have. I know we said earlier about finding Alison some donuts, and we failed yeah, dismally. Everything fail. shut at the moment. This is a prime example of a pier. Actually, now we've got here. That's what it used to be like. So and actually, the, you can see down to the other one. The other one's got roughly the same amount left. Yeah, so this would have stretched out into the sea, but just years of being battered by the North Sea. There's just, right, well, it just demolishes most of them. There's very few of these piers left in England at all now, isn't there? Mm. We've run out of time for today. Yeah, the sun's, the sun's going, going down. down. It's getting cold. Getting cold? Uh, colder. colder. Do you know what? We've had a really nice time with friends and family and meeting up with lots of people back here in the UK. It's been nice, but not in the winter again. It's been really cold. That's <laughs> been difficult. And hats off to anyone that does van life, motorhome living in the UK, particularly if you do it full time like we do but we're not in the UK, Yeah. but do full-time living in a van or a motorhome in this country. It's harsh in it, the winter. It's really harsh. And this country is just not geared up for it in any way, shape or form. No. It's so easy in Europe. So Can we go back let's to go Europe back now? to Europe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next we'll Sunday. We'll see you next Sunday. Back in Europe. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.